Hi, welcome to episode 98 of the Modern Work vlogging series. My name is Jag Kakarlapuri from Modern Work Training and Consulting based in Melbourne, Australia. So in this episode, let's look at um, four main limitations of Microsoft Planner. Uh, this is my opinion, right? So this is based on my experience of using Microsoft Planner for a little while now. So anyway, let's get into these limitations. And I, I think Microsoft is actually working on these limitations uh, in their, in, in, in fairness, but let's, let's talk about them. You know, these are the things that you need to know before jumping into Microsoft Planner and using it for your production use cases. So let's talk about that. Number one is there's no recycle bin. <laughs> so this is a big letdown for me, right? When, if you delete a plan, if you delete a board, if you delete a, I'm sorry, a bucket, or if you delete a, a, a task within a bucket, there's no way for you to get it back. So in this day and age, I would expect to see a recycle bin uh, functionality for any you know, web-based application for that matter, for any, any application, right? So in it, so for Microsoft Planner at this stage, there is no recycle bin. If, so be careful when you delete a task or actually don't delete a task. Just put it in a bucket, uh, you know, create a bucket called archived and just put it in there. Number Item number two is there's no audit trail. Um, it doesn't actually show you who's made changes in a chronological order. So if you create a task, if you work on it, you know, if you add comments, if you add checklist items, it doesn't actually show you who has done what changes. If you're working in a team and if multiple people are actually changing it, let's say your project manager has created a task, you, it's assigned to you, you've worked on it, you know, you've added few attachments, you know, you changed the status from say not started to in progress and then completed the task. There's no way for you to see that audit trial. I would like to see a, you know, a task within the Microsoft Planner, keep that audit trial so that you can actually track what's happening at what time. And not just that, you know, using that audit, if you can, audit trial, if you can actually produce some insights, like, you know, how long a task is, is taken, uh, how long a particular person takes to complete his tasks, or you know, if you can actually generate those sort of insights using those audit trials, that'd be really helpful as well. That's item number two. Uh, next limitation, item three is version history. Okay, so this is touch base. This is all similar to audit trial. There's no version history. You can't actually go back and restore previous versions. If someone has actually uh, made changes, un unnecessary changes to the task, you know, there's no, there's, there's, there's no way to actually go back and restore previous versions. So I would like to see treat it like a any other document or in a, anything like that in in a proper content services uh, ECM system. I would like to see. Uh, a, a, an ability to actually have that version history attached to any item. So a task being an item within uh, the Office 365, I would like to see the version history so that you can actually go back and, uh, you know, uh, get a, a, a restore the version like I just said there. All right, so number four is the lack of a Gantt chart functionality within Microsoft. I can't actually see, um, you know, who's working on what tasks in a, in a Gantt view. If I could actually see, uh, if I have a Gantt chart, it would really help a project manager to, you know, plan, uh, create the tasks, see all, the, you know, who's assigned to what tasks and, and get that sort of, you know, visibility into, into how the tasks are planned. You know, if that functionality is there in Microsoft Planner, that really that will really help the project management office and uh, project man, you know, in any project managers or for that matter, any anyone who's managing plans within using Microsoft Planner. So I I really like to see Gantt chart functionality come to Microsoft Planner. So these are the three uh, four limitations uh, within yeah you know with, with Microsoft Planner that you need to be aware of. Lack of uh, recycle bin you know, no audit trials and version histories and no functionality for you to actually plan around, you know, using Gantt charts. That's it for this uh, episode. And my name is Jack Kakalapudi from Modern Work Training and Consulting based in Melbourne, Australia. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.